Boarding the plane to Frankfurt, Germany. So we are in Frankfurt. Uh, Mathura Pati Prabhu just arrived to pick us up. Unfortunately, he broke his leg, fracture in six places, so he's uh, having crutches. So now we're loading the suitcases and heading to the temple. So we just arrived at the new place, Mathura Pati's place. They said to put things there for now. Yeah, very good. Okay, you got it here? Yes. Wow. Every, I got everything actually. Only tomorrow we can start only the uh, the ceremony, not tomorrow. One day Later, after yeah. then I have everything. Okay. Tomorrow I must bring the clay boat and bricks. No problem. You have the No, no. Yeah, Volkswagen. Das. <laughs> <laughs> But it's not finished. The altar is coming after one month. It's, we are here new. Uh, only five months old. We are here. It's huge Tulsi. This is the temple room here. And the uh, temple in Germany. Very nice. They're waiting for my altar. Yeah, the temple is here. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Nam Nam, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Nam Nam, Hare 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 Krishna. Sri Krishna, the personality of God is the Paramatma super soul in everyone's heart and the benefactor of the truthful devotee. Cleanses the desire of material enjoyment from the heart of the devotee who has developed the urge to hear his messages, which are in themselves very gorgeous when properly heard and chanted. So, you got it? Yeah. So, by hearing about Krishna, only Krishna, we can overcome his mind. So, tapasya is to bring you to the mode of goodness. Bhakti, Parasana, Virati, whether 11, 2 something. 11, 2, 42. Huh? 42, 42. Take it up and read. Uh, oh, take out here so you can read and translate. Huh? So we are on our way to get some bricks for the fire yagya, for the initiation that will te be, be taking place tomorrow. Maturapati Prabhu cannot drive, therefore Vrajakisha Prabhu will be driving. So this is the house from the outside. I didn't have the time to take a proper shot of the inside. It is in a very nice place, as you can see all the unifamilial houses. 
in Germany there's a nice river there and some mountains in the background and all. It's very quiet, very peaceful. Stop this. Every one of the Muslims now they say, you go to this man, he brainwash you, he, he kill your religion. It's very dangerous for you. I tell you, one, uh, he, he, he say to me, and I was say, how I can, uh, what I can do? Be completely vegetarian. Do all your Muslim prayer every day five times. It is the worship service. Chant every day. And now he's married. He's such a perfect Muslim. You cannot believe, even vegetarian. Hare Krishna, as I was editing this video, um, I wanted to explain a little bit more the situation of um, Maturapati Prabhu's friend, the, uh, who is Muslim. He used to be a very heavy um, guy in the sense that he was selling drugs and he was getting into many fights. He was a very uh, violent person. Uh, and then he got into a lot of problems, drug problem. He was doing a lot of cocaine. And um, so Maturapati Prabhu said, okay, I can help you. And uh, he promised him, he said that if you uh, stay with me every day, wake up in the morning, you know, chant Hare Krishna and uh, take Krishna Prashadam in this way, in one month time, you will be able to give up cocaine. So his Muslim, his, his Muslim friend agreed. Then later on, Maturapati Prabhu was thinking, oh my God, what did I do? <laughs> Why did I swear this to him? You know, He says, I'm not the controller. The holy name is not different from Krishna. If he wants to purify his heart, then he will be purified. So anyway, uh, um, so Maturapati Prabhu was a bit afraid that it wouldn't work. But uh, he came, they stayed together. And exactly, he said, exactly at one month, he managed to stop completely cigarette, cocaine, everything. In one month only, that is the power of the holy name, you know. So uh, he was saying here how heavy it is um, for him to become a Hare Krishna. He was starting to chant Hare Krishna, read the books and all. But due to the heavy pressure of his community and of his uh, culture, um, he was forced back into the, um, the Muslim religion. So that's why Maturapati Prabhu says, okay, then you pray uh, five times a day. Uh, you know, you do your, your prayers. And um, so he's, do, he's doing this and he's completely vegetarian. But he knows that the Lord is Krishna. Supreme Lord is Krishna and uh, he still remembers him, you know, I guess when he does his prayer. So we can take a look at a few verses. 500 years ago, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had a conversation with Khan Kazi who was a Mohammedan. So Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told uh, Chan Kazi, There are many mistakes and illusions in your scriptures. Their compilers, not knowing the essence of knowledge, gave orders that were against reason and argument. After hearing these statements by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the Kazi, his arguments stunned, could not put forward any more words. Thus, after due consideration, the Kazi accepted defeat and spoke as follows. Dear Nimai Pandit, what you have said is all true. Our scriptures have developed only recently, and they are certainly not logical and philosophical. I know that our scriptures are full of imagination and mistaken ideas. Yet, because I am a Muslim, I accept them for the sake of my community, despite their insufficient support. The Chan Kazi was a very um, important man in the society um, and he was very intelligent also. And he himself is saying yes, that he's following this uh, simply because of social pressure. It is very hard for a Muslim to take to Krishna consciousness because of all the pressure from the parents, grandparents, cousins and all of this. Uh, but it so happens sometimes that they manage to break off from the pressure because any sincere Muslim or Christians or what will want to inquire more. Search who is Allah, who is God. There's no difference between the God that they pray to and the God that we pray. It's just that they have insufficient knowledge. That's all. This uh, Muslim friend of Maturapati Prabhu is very kind. Uh, he's helping a lot, giving nice donations and also he's a Hare Krishna Muslim. No, no, no smoking, no drugs. No, nothing. He was eating meat, 
smoking cigarettes, drinking alcohol and taking okay. cocaine. Everything, mm. no? Nothing? Only everyday prayer? He mm. say, please wait, I must finish my prayer now. Mm. So he's always, he's such a heavy, perfect, like perfect Muslim. Uh, not like others, not so fanatical. He like very much the Hare Krishna. So sometimes he come to the temple and give big, big donation. Even he, he like it very much. He say. Okay, and that's the problem, you know. That the, the, their culture is so heavy, you know. Yes. They cannot, they cannot get out of it. You know? it very hard. Heavy. Mm. Most heavy. I like it so much. So like now we just met uh, Mathura Prabhu's friend, a Muslim who's uh, very nice. He accepts Krishna and all. He was chanting Hare Krishna before and he reading Prabhupada books. But due to the pressure of uh, you know the community of uh, Muslims, he had to uh, give up his practice. But he still holds uh, Krishna in his heart. And now he's very much fixed up. He used to do drugs and you know a lot of. Uh, <laughs> illicit activities and he was not a very good Muslim, was not doing his prayers and all, but due to the association of Natura Prati Prabhu, he managed to become a fixed up Muslim. So, it is very nice. Hare Krishna. Searching for crack stones on the, on the, really? on the ground. Really? Yeah. So like you saw those poor souls that were there on the on the <coughs> sidewalk. They were actually all drug addicts, you know, looking for some crack, and so on, some kind of drugs. So this is what the the leaders now are doing. They, because the leaders are blind, and people are blind. They fall into a ditch, this kind of ditch, the ditch of, of drugs and so on. So, a civilization that has spiritual, spiritually strong leaders, they know what is the aim of life. So therefore they can guide the people to become more and more spiritually advanced. But leaders who are blind, who have disconnected themselves from God, cannot create any good things. And this is the result. You see? Now this is the red light district. So many, uh, you know, prostitution, drugs. Uh, fighting, doing everything bad. You know.